The machines are set to print in both directions, meaning as it goes to the left and to the right, it's printing both times. Some media types require unidirectional print, which is printing in one way and then returning back to print in the same direction again. To ensure that our machine is set properly for bidirectional printing, we can run a calibration on it. To get to this calibration, you would go to Menu, and then down until we see Adjust Bidirectional. We'll go over to the right, and then the first one in here is a test print. So we'll do the simple setting test print for the machine. When I press Enter, it'll go and print the design. To feed the material out, I'll press menu to get out of the menu settings and then the down arrow to send the media out. Once we have it sufficiently past the guard, you can see here the triangle indicates where it is set at. If the triangle is down here, you can see that the two lines don't match up. We want to have this so that the lines are matched up and form a perfect line going across where it's not deviating to the to right or to the left of it. If I'm happy with the setting, we'll leave it where it is. If I needed to adjust it, either in the negative or positive direction, we would go back to the menu, into that test print for it, and to the simple setting. I'll show you how that works. We'll go back into the menu, back down to adjust by directional, over, and it's at the test print, but we'll go down one notch, and it has the simple setting. To adjust this, go to the right, the setting is at zero now. If I wanted to change it in the negative direction, I'll go down. And if it needs to be at negative one, and that's the setting I desire, I press enter, and now it's at negative one. If I were to run the test print again at this point, the triangle would move over to the negative one point to indicate where our setting is at on the physical print. It was good at the zero for this test print, so I'll go back up to zero. And notice that you can go in half increments. So if you decide it's in between the two, you can use that as a setting. But it was very good at zero, so we'll set it back there, press enter, and again, we see it set at zero. This finishes the simple setting. To get out of this menu, we press menu, and we're back to the main display. To get into the detailed settings for bidirectional printing, again, we'll go back to menu, and down to adjust bidirectional, over, and this time we'll go down past the simple setting, and the next one on here is detail setting. It indicates to go to the right. When I go over there, now we have the test print option for the detailed setting. I simply press enter and the machine will do the detail set print. When the test print is complete, to be able to advance the media out, we'll get out of the menu, and now I can use my down arrow to advance the media out so I can inspect the print to see where the settings are at. Again, we'll inspect each one of these as we did in the simple setting, looking for the value that reads the, the smoothest line going across and looking at the triangle to show what it indicates. And this one here, I can see it's not quite where I want it to be. And the plus one is maybe a little bit to the right. So it's a value that's in between these two. I find it useful to use a pen and put a mark or circle the area that I want for the value. So that when I go back into the menu to enter all these in, I can visually see where each one of them is and it's much easier to enter in. Let's go to the menu and show you how to enter these. To enter in the values for the detail setting, again, we'll go back to the menu, and again down to adjust by directional. Go over, and then down to the detail setting, where we went over before to get the test print. Now that the test print is complete, we'll go down to setting, and over. 
This is where it has the individual numbers for the lines. Each one of them would have a value in here that corresponds to the triangle or to the desired setting for each line. If, for instance, for line number one, I decided my value was a positive three, I would now go up until I got to positive three. I would go on, I don't have to hit the enter, I would go on to the next value and across the board. If this one needed to be negative one, I would go to negative one. Again, I go over and this now takes me to line three and four and we would continue on through the lines. Since the first two were good at a zero setting, I'll take them back down for our current print or up as need be. And we'll go to the last one which we had decided was a positive half value. So I'll go to a positive half value and now we have the enter symbol there which when I hit enter completes the sequence and puts that value in for the printer. To get out of this menu as we're done with the settings, we press menu and it goes back to the main display.